Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to our channel Life on the Savage Farm and part 2 of our backyard cleanup. If y'all were with me in part 1, you would have seen Chris and I clearing out the garden that we used to have. We had the garden for a little while until about last month that we decided to do away with it before winter came. It would have been a lot more work for us if we had kept it in that time. Plus I was getting anxious on wanting to have these new set of farm animals brought into our new pen that we're creating here and this was the perfect area close to our house for them so out with the old and in with the new As you've seen Chris carrying over all of the pallets and saving me from destroying my back, we're getting ready to create their pen. We're discussing how the layout should be and he was asking me where I wanted each detailed pallet. If y'all have been with me long enough, you know how I am about being organized. I'm so detail oriented and the artist in me always has a plan for a certain layout. Each item is well thought out and then has to be placed in a specific spot a certain way. What's my reason for it? Mm, OCD? <laughs> you see what I mean about my OCD and telling Chris how I wanted it? Each palette in my mind had to be set in a specific spot for how it looked. It just couldn't be thrown together to create a pen. So if you caught Chris when he set the other palette on the side of me, <laughs> he was trying to close me in and showing me his or his showing me his frustration what he thought of placing these pallets up for me. It was too funny, but I can't help it. It's just the way I am no matter what the situation. It's like this. This is how my brain works. Someone tells you to draw a tree and a person standing next to it. What do you do? Draw the tree in person, right? Nope. Not me. Here I am drawing a tree with leaves, branches, shading the lights from darks, adding clouds, the sun, you name it, the grass, and adding all these details to create the person. I just can't draw a stick figure tree or the stick figure person. Even though this is a rough draft sketch, in my mind the more you draw, the more you'll understand and you'll see the idea I'm trying to create. Now that we've laid all the pallets out and placed them how I wanted them, <laughs> Chris started to level it out, secure it, and make sure everything was flushed with each other. We got these pallets at our local feed store for only $2 to $3 each, which is actually a great deal. And aside from that, they're real strong and sturdy. Absolutely a great use for projects like this, use on the farm, or if you need to create something for your animals. These are great to use. Okay, as we move right along, we're now adding a huge thick four by four, uh, it's like a thick pole to use as a support pole for the roof. We have to level it out and make sure it's standing upright, push back in the dirt and use the Swiffer Sweeper stick pole to compact the dirt. <laughs> oh yes, you heard me. The Swiffer Sweeper pole that we use for projects like this. I don't use it in the house because I have my Dyson vacuum and my other beautiful uh, ring out mop, the O Cedar mop. But out here, this Swiffer Sweeper pole that we use is definitely an excellent tool for these type of jobs. And 
After that's set up, we then move on to placing the other braces on the pallets. All these braces will help secure and support the entire roof once we put it together. I'm curious if y'all have figured out what kind of animals we'll be setting in here. Any ideas? Some of you may already know, or some just don't have any clue. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think is going to go in here. While you're at it, be sure to head over to our Instagram, Life on the Savage Farm, and follow us there too for more Insta stories and photos that you won't see here on YouTube. Sometimes I'll post the photo with the description before the day or the day of when I uploaded the video. I wanted to let you guys know that everything that you see here besides the pallets is actually reused materials. So far we've only spent about $15 for just the pallets. Everything else is materials that we've already had and kept from previous projects that we did. Lots of this stuff is from our garden as well and who would have thought that most of this stuff could be reused. I'm very thankful for that and now that I think about it, I have to agree with my dad over the years. <laughs> He's kept everything and boy do I mean everything. You just don't know when you're going to need it, you know, especially with us kids. We end up in his garage finding what we need and then you could hear him chiming in, see, aren't you glad I kept that? Yes, dad. 20 years later, like who would have known when we <laughs> might have needed it? However, as a farmer and if you have livestock, I would highly recommend to keep all that you have, uh, especially what you mainly use because you'll end up having another use for it. Are y'all still with me on the backyard cleanup video? I hope so because we've been doing lots and lots of work as you can see. Everything as you can see took time, proper measuring, and lots of screws. <laughs> Hopefully this is an inspiration for you guys and you've gotten the motivation that you needed watching us do all of this work. Chris is too much, <laughs> but we're definitely so goofy together and we love each other so much. I honestly, or 
In my mind, as I watched this clip over and over, because it was too funny, <laughs> I was expecting him to grab in between the poles where my fingers were. Then with that, it ends up opening and then I can let go, but instead he just closed them on me. <laughs> I believe y'all have seen multiple times in our videos where he accidentally ends up hurting me or I think at this point he does it on purpose in my other videos to get a reaction out of me. Even though he feels bad but at the same time you can see that he loves it. No matter what though, I am truly in love and blessed to have this man because anything negative or fighting, we're quick to get over it with each other and just be back to our lovey-dovey selves. I hope y'all are getting a good laugh from us on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, which I may remind you that here in the Sunshine State, it feels like sweater weather right now. I cannot wait for it to get colder because as you've seen in this video, it was hot. And the mosquitoes were not helping. We are always goofy with each other. We got jokes and such remembering moments for you guys. And Chris, tuberculosis <laughs> what the heck man if you want to see more of our motivation inspirational comedy videos do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can always be notified of when I've uploaded more videos give this video a thumbs up because you enjoyed this video and want to see more of us do share our channel with all of your friends and family because we're almost there reaching our goal of 500 subscribers you guys so come on share this channel Chris and I are now on the last project of the day because as you can see, I had to take a break to eat something. Here I am helping him one-handed holding a banana. <laughs> oh, and I don't believe I mentioned it at all either. Throughout this video, you've seen us in different set of clothes. The first video that we did took two days to film 
and I believe this video took two days to film as well. When we were done recording this entire backyard cleanup, I believe it totaled up to about six to seven hours of video watch. I know, right? Oh my lord, I was not going to work on that much video to squeeze it all into one. So this was the best way to show it to you guys and to make sure I could show you more in a shorter time frame. All right now, if this last project hasn't given away what we plan on putting in here, then I'm excited to show you the next video and the next. Don't worry, it will be well worth it at the end to see what we have. Okay, you guys, looks like we're done for the day, so I'm going to wrap up this video right here. I want to thank all of you for watching us and sticking around to the end of this video. It really means so much to us, and we're blessed to have you here and for you to be a part of our YouTube family. We appreciate every one of you. Remember to subscribe, click that bell to be notified of more videos that I post, follow us, and give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Share our channel, Life on the Savage Farm, with your family and friends. Head over to our Instagram to follow us there too. And I will be sure to see you guys again right back here with a brand new video. Bye, you guys.